I am a ninth grader at Westside High School. Slay! And this is my poem, Fool's Gold. Tired and excited, we're going to get donuts while I tell you about the convoluted timeline of whatever thing has piqued my interest. But before I can get my mouth open to cough out the hairball of words I've accumulated during the week, you stop me. I want you to meet someone special today. The tone of your voice was fuzzy, warm, like the bear on fabric softener commercials, because I trust you the most, and I know you can handle it. Put up on a pedestal, I can't reach down to see what's happening underneath my nose. I'm golden, unwavering, sparkling with each new accomplishment that I gain. My siblings seem to lose triple that, no, quintuple that. But now my golden paint is chipping, my impersonated value flaking away like lips in the winter. I'm like fool's gold, except for the fact that the only foolish one here is me for thinking that... <laughs> For, for thinking that you could just have a normal relationship with your so-called companion because apparently that word can, can stop the blow of girlfriend like a, a cheap paper towel trying to stop the blow of a fire hose. I don't care what words you use with me. I don't care what bushes you think you're beating around so sneakily. When I catch you on the other side of the thorns, you play the transparent card, but it's about as clear as instructions from a substitute teacher who obviously doesn't want to be there. I'm craving, yearning for honesty like it's being dangled in front of my face, pulled up when I reach for it. Took her in because of her niece's daycare disease, hand in hand. What a heroic feat. Mouth in mouth, but only when I'm not here. Cause we only watch happy movies that end in a kiss as plastic snow fills the air in front of an intricately decorated Christmas tree. So beautiful, you know it must be fake. It's a hallmark candle-scented nightmare. I wish I could be mad at her, but my feelings would be put to waste because it would be like yelling at a mannequin in a Target store. All I can think to say about her is, she's nice. She hasn't done anything to me, but she isn't a part of my family. She's a personified piece of Wonder Bread wearing a golden cross that I see every time I'm at home. And you don't want to hear that. As I think about all the things you don't want to listen to, I could sift them out of our conversations like panning for treasured nuggets of what I need to know. Only all that comes through is me. Fool's gold. As I slip away through the sand of our figurative river.